Hey, this is going to be a response to uh, Sardonic Media. This is Asymmetric Warfare, a.k.a. Derek359, a.k.a. Sardonic Skeptic 1 all the way to 5. You know, yeah, he's had so many channels now. But he's got a new channel devoted to reviews uh, called Sardonic Media. Um, you should also check out his website as well, where he uploads his reviews to as well. Um, but he's recently done a video, he's done a, a review of Fantasy Star 1. Now, I have some problems with your review. I think you were too, you were too sparing. Because the, the thing is, when I first played that game, I was young, so I had no idea how to use the internet. And you can imagine when that game first came out, there would have been no online walkthroughs or anything like that. It would have just, you would have been completely at the mercy of the, com of the game that just leaves you completely clueless. Um, you know, and it's not like, it's not something like, um, Fallout where you just, you make your own way through the game anyway. No, no, there is a set storyline here, and you have to figure out where the fuck to go. Um, and there's so, so, some things that just, just were absurd, just little things that kind of annoyed you. Um, when you first play the game, you have no idea what to do, you know. There's this guy called Lassic, my brother's dead, shit. I never went to the guy to get the pot. I had no, I had no idea. I just walked out of the city, walked out into this field, just complete nowhere. I just, I headed um, east. I got attacked by some scorpions and tarantulas and shit. Kicked their asses. They get asses. He's a piece of piss. I'm really good at this game, killing the tarantulas. Went north and went to uh, the shore. And the thing is, he, my question is, why didn't you mention this in your review? Because this part of the game is the backbone of the entire game. Fishman. There's a monster called Fishman, and guess what? He's a fish man. Um, like, like some sort of Doctor Who villain, right? Where he, he bursts out the water and he's all scaly and he's got claws. You know, it's, it's a really small image, but he's like, uh, like that. He's not, he's not called like Sea Devil or Sea Monster or Serpent Man. He's called Fishman. Um, so I just, I, all I did was laugh at him. You know, I was like, <laughs> Fishman, hey Matty, that's my brother's name, hey Matt, check out this guy, Fishman, and um, it chopped, it dodged out of the way, oh shit, and then it just goes, it does that with its tongue, and then you're dead in one hit, so I was like, fucking hell, Fishman, give me nightmares, and I think my, 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 the most satisfaction I got from the bloody game was when I leveled up enough, from wandering around in dungeons, as you mentioned, completely lost, killing monsters, until so I finally leveled up enough to actually go back to where Fishman was, and I took him on, and I kicked his ass instantly. And I was like, yes! Fuck you, Fishman! But here's another thing that pissed me off about the game, is that w when you don't have the Laconian pot, right? If you don't have the Laconian pot, um, you can still go to the spaceport, right? And the guy who wants to trade you the cat, he he, he has nothing to trade you, right? If you, you say, I'll pay, yeah, I'll, I'll pay a billion um, mesitas, whatever the, whatever the money is, He'll go, you are a liar. And it's like, oh, okay. And, with no guidance whatsoever, I went off into that yellow dungeon, right, without without the cats, just me, Alice, by myself, completely fucking lost, and I found Noah. And Noah just says, go away, I'm doing my training. So it's like, like I, I, I didn't realise, I didn't realise what to do until I found out years later. So, I just wandered into this fucking dungeon way ahead of my level, um, com completely lost, no idea what to do, there's just, there's just no, f there's, I don't want games to be completely linear, right, but you've, there's, there's got to be boundaries, right, there's got to be points where you go, okay, here's, here's what you're meant to do now, a couple of cutscenes here and there, right, a couple of bits where they talk to each other and say, okay, we'll go there next, it's not so bad in Fantasy Star 2, um, and a game like Metal Gear Solid, where the game literally is a giant cutscene, that's annoying, but there's, there's gotta be a bit of moderation, surely. Um, and another thing that fucks me out, just, just, just weirds me out, actually, was, you've, uh, and this is the same in a lot of RPGs, the monsters that you fight tend to be just different coloured versions of another monster that you've seen, right? So in Golden Sun, there's Lizard Man, and then later on in the game, and, the, and in the sequel, you fight a bigger version that's more pale tinted, more powerful, and it's called Lizard Fighter, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But in this game, you fight something, and I think it's called Wing Eye, right? I think it's called Wing Eye, and it's literally an eye, just a floating eyeball with wings, right? And it's like a tinted red. Fine. 
because it's a, it's wings and there's an eye. Wing eye makes total sense. But when you go into the blue dungeon to find Odin, you find the same thing, but it's blue tinted and it's called owl bear. Why the fuck is it called owl bear? It's not a bear. It's not an owl. Uh, did, did, is it just Japanese? Like they they th- oh bears have wings, or was it just complete mistranslated, or or, or what? Why was it called Owlbear? That really pissed me off, that did. Um, what, what, what else was weird about the game? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Fantasy Star Online game, right? I, I played fucking, like, uh, 400-something hours, right, on that bloody game. So much time on that. Um, and, you know, I found... I, th- there's an enemy in that called Dark Fowls, right? And I thought, that's a weird name. There's something in that called the Club of Laconium. The money is called Mesitas. And some of the music tracks uh, are actually from the original games. And so they sound pretty cool when they're in all like high tech music shit. Um, but then when you go back to play the original games and you listen to that dungeon music, that ah, 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 just going on and on and on, it becomes repetitive and you can't listen to the music anymore. And so when so when you then play Fantasy Star Online and they have that little riff from the original games, it now it now just makes me think of how shit the original game was. And now I can't forget what franchise it belongs to. Um, it's it it was a fairly good franchise that started from really shitty foundations. We shouldn't pretend that these old games were better. You know, oh they don't make them like they used to. There's a reason why we don't make them like they used to because they used to be shit. They used to be completely shit. And let's be frank about that. Um, so fuck Fantasy Star 1. Fuck Fish Man. Um, and fuck you, you prick. No, not fuck you. Subscribe to him.